Right, so this is the day that I've been waiting for, for this bad boy. Ready for a cut? <laughs> Let's get it done, boy. Yo, mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip fit. Today's the day. Today we're gonna get this bad boy a cut. Or give it a cut, not get it a cut. Yeah, I tell you what, it's looking really, really good. Really impressed with how it's looking at the moment. Um, I tell you what, it really does need a cut. We'll get the tape measure out in a minute and see how tall it is, but I can tell by looking at it, it's very, very long. Um, now there's a few spots before we mow. Just wanna show you guys, there is a few spots that still need to germinate, but we're still gonna mow anyway, because otherwise it would just get out of control. So let me show you. So as we can see here, well there's lots of germination in this area now. Um, this is the area that was really dry and I had to adjust that sprinkler in that corner just there. Now this is all new stuff that's come up, um, but that is not ready for a cut yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go around that, around that area, try and miss it. It would be okay if I rolled over it, it wouldn't stress it out too much, but we've just gotta be careful of that. But if you guys have seen it recently and you've got best spots that still need to germinate, feel free to mow still. Don't stress about it, we're not gonna kill it off. It's a little bit more resilient than you think. Um, this area here, completely filled in, which I showed you guys last week, I think it was. Um, mate, looks so good. Must have had a bit of a drop with the seed here by accident with the spreader, because we were all thick there. Um, all this stuff here that I showed you guys wasn't germinating. Got all germination in there now. So it's been a week since I put that seed down, since I showed you guys in the last video. Um, and then, is there any other spots? There was one other spot which I've noticed why they haven't germinated now. So these spots here, I put down some Roundup and some Slasher. So the active in Slasher, which I forgot, has a bit of pre-emergent activity in it. Ooh, has a bit of pre-emergent in it. So that's why nothing has germinated in those spots. So I'm gonna get the plugger out later, remove the soil, put some new soil in, and put some seed in. We'll do that at the end of the video. But anyway, it's getting really windy. And my golf net just dropped over. Um, <laughs> That was loud. Um, but I was hoping hoping to get the drone up today, so we'll see. We might, we might not, but anyway. Let's get the tape measure out, let's measure this and get a cut on. Okay, so the ground is still a smidge wet. Um, it last got water two days ago, so I've left the water off it so I can get the mower on it. Otherwise it'd just be too smooshy. Um, oh, it's a worm. Mm -hmm. Get, it's definitely wet. Um, my butt's getting wet too. Um, but let's see the height, that's probably one of the longer areas. So the lawn is up to, this is the new seedy, seedies, up at 35 mil. Some spots are at 40 mil. Um, and the old grass, which is underneath, is still a little bit shorter because that PGR is still suppressing the growth, which is awesome. Which is ideal, yeah, that's at 40 mil. So I'm gonna say we're probably gonna go at about 30 mil height of cut today. We don't, don't wanna cut too much off. We'll stick to the one third rule. Um, so I've set the rover already to 30 mil. Or it's 29, because that's as far as it tends to go. Okay, that spot there is really long and some are at 50 mil, so definitely 30 mil today. Because we want to be safe with this. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's going to mow on. basically was cutting nothing off, so let's take it down to about 25 mil. Let's take some more off.
right, so it is super windy now, um, but mowing's all done. Tell you what. <laughs> it's looking, like seriously, so good. Tell you what's funny, when you get over the other side, the stripes pop. Watch this. Oh, rah. Man, it's good to have the lawn back. I tell you what, a couple of bare spots, which we're going to fix up in a second, but let's go to the back. Have a squeeze at the back. Oh, yeah. Look at this, mate. Oh. Wow. Dang. That is pure. Looks so good. So I'm just going to use this Pro Plugger today to get rid of these little bare spots that are here that I put down that round up and slasher, which is acting like a pre-emergent, which is basically making this soil unable to have anything germinating. There's a couple of little bits of seed coming up, but you can tell it is struggling big time. So, I'm just going to get some plugs out with this bad boy. Just go to the higher setting. Take a decent sized plug out. Might take two here. One plug. Two plug. So as you can see, you grab some plugs out of those spots. There, there, and there. And then I'm going to use this little spot in the corner here as like a little nursery because it's out of the way and I can just chuck some more seed down here. Um, and it's very easy to keep moisture up to it because it's say shaded. For a lot of the day, but it's still what fine. Cool season grass like rye is pretty good in the shade. Um, so yeah, let's take some plugs for me. Then I'm just gonna place these plugs back in here. Easy as. From there I'm going to add just a tiny bit more seed on top because they, that is a bit more sparse turf there because it is, as I said, shady. So it is always a little bit more sparse. A little bit of seed. And then from there, just cover it with a little bit of topsoil. Easy. I'm gonna keep going on other spots in the yard where I put that stupid stuff down. I'm just going to quickly aerate this spot here because it is quite compacted. Oh, 
all done. So I'm gonna wrap it up there for the day. Um, pretty happy with the overall result. As you can see, I did it more. Um, I top dressed that as well and put some seed down. Can't remember if I filmed that. I don't know, I'm lost. Um, and did a spot just here as well. These are just compacted areas um, and they seem to hold water for ages. So just a little manual core aeration, put some seed in there, put some um, of that soil in there as well. Just help with the drainage. Also did up the back as well, just covered over the seed that was there. Um, just because it was exposed a bit to the sun. But yeah, that's about it. That's it, about it. Thanks guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Um, sorry there's only one video this week. Um, it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week and I was gonna shoot something on the green. Who knows, I might still. I don't know, if, if it doesn't rain, I will. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching so much. Really, really do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, we're so close 100K. It is not funny, I'm so keen. Anyway, thanks guys, and I'll see you guys late. Right, if you guys stuck around, I'll quickly show you an update on the green, um, because we're not gonna get a video shot near this week. Now, it needs a cut. We've had a couple of days of rain, so it hasn't had a cut for a bit. But, mm, it's looking lush. It is looking thick as boy. Mm -mm. Over here, look at this. That spot is pretty much filled in. That bare spot, that bare spot's pretty much filled in. Um, I just top dressed this again, but there's grass all through that. Um, and this area here is nearly filled in as well. It's actually grass all through there now. Um, I've just top dressed it again to keep it, um, you know, the stole lines covered and just to keep it moist. But yeah, it is looking really good. I reckon it'll definitely be filled in by the end of um, the season. Um, and setting into winter when it goes dormant. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good.